So what is the most popular malware today that you're most likely to get infected by? That distinction for the moment undoubtedly goes to Luma Stealer, which is an info stealer that's largely responsible for getting people hacked. What do hackers today want, especially from an average user like you? If you look through the dark web, at the kind of posts that hackers make, you can see what they advertise, you can see the services that they offer. And today, a lot of it is not based on access to your computer, it is based on access to your accounts. So they might offer hacked Instagram accounts. I was actually quite surprised to see what they sell. They literally sell all sorts of user accounts from Amazon Prime to Disney Plus, Adobe Creative Suite. It's kind of like an alternative to piracy. Since a lot of software is now in the cloud, if they hack an account that has a paid subscription, they can then sell it for a lower price than the subscription itself. But it gets even darker than that. What if you have a Marriott membership or a Hilton honors card? Maybe you use those hotels. Even stolen credit cards are all for sale on the dark web, all the way from Macy's to Subway. But similarly, if we look at the malware trends in any doll run, you can see Luma Stealer ranked number one in terms of how often it's been seen. And if you take a look at the graph, you can see the massive rise in recent times. So with the other malware families on the list, Agent Tesla, the Remcos, Rat, staying fairly constant. But with Luma Stealer, it is an exponential curve. Now, I also want to talk about what this malware has to do with you and why you might be targeted and what you stand to lose. Oh, and by the way, this affects both Windows and Mac. The attack methods are going to be different depending on if you're a Mac user or a Windows user, but the goal remains the same, which is to hack your accounts. Now on Mac, they're primarily going to rely on you downloading and running an application. They might pretend to be some kind of AI video editor. So if you hear or see an ad about, hey, there's this new AI based video upscaling program that's free, don't rush to download it because it could very well be an info stealer in disguise, even if the domain looks kind of legitimate, as you can see, they have gotten really good with their domain name game. Editproai.org sounds like a very official domain. You wouldn't normally think of that as malware. Different domain names for Windows and Mac, but both are quite convincing until, of course, you run it and disaster strikes. When it comes to average users, attackers today are more interested in getting access to your accounts than necessarily just maintaining access to your computer. So they deploy these quick and easy info stealers like Luma Stealer, steal your accounts, and then disappear. They have no interest in causing you any inconvenience in the usage of your computer. Quite the contrary, they want you to go back to using the device. So hopefully they can hack you again. Gone are the days of malware where it's uh, noisy and tries to disrupt your activity. They still do that for businesses, but for a home user, their goal is to be stealthy or just stay as a hidden backdoor and then hack into your online accounts. They also collect these accounts. So if they have a mass collection of Instagram accounts, they can use that to get people banned or unbanned via the report functions. And a lot of the times, even if they have your account hacked, they don't want to alert you. They're not going to change your password, do anything crazy because they want to maintain access to it. So I wouldn't be surprised if there are people today with Facebook accounts or Instagram accounts that are hacked and they don't even know. You clicked on a random link and nothing really happens. So you continue using your computer, but maybe your WhatsApp or your Facebook or your Instagram is now hacked. So the world of malware today is just very different from what it used to be 10 years ago. And a big part of protecting yourself is really going to come down to your awareness as a user and protecting your browser and your session tokens and your online accounts very effectively because that's what attackers are going to be after. It's a different game when you're in business because then they want to access your active directory. They want to hack into your computers and shut down your business activities so they can ransom you. But as a home user, they're not really that interested in that. And a lot of the times it may not even involve using an active malware component, it could simply use a Windows component via scheduled task or something like that to keep the hacker connected. So even if you did a scan, you might not detect it. It's kind of what security researchers refer to as living off the land. I love some of these ads. We offer the number one best Instagram liking service for the best price. There are people out there who want to pay hackers to get likes on Instagram or social media. I mean, these are the things that matter to people in 2024, 25. 
people don't care about computers. They care about online accounts and identities. And so the world of malware and cybercrime has evolved to meet that. Recently, there was a City Skyline mod, and there's a lot of game mods and YouTube videos and game cheats and pirated software that comes with hacks nowadays. It happened with the popular City Skyline mod, and it basically stole any kind of crypto if you had that specific wallet installed on your system. So if you store crypto, be extra careful. So I hope that gives you some idea of what cybercrime is like in this day and age and how you can protect yourself. It's still very important to have effective protection on your system. We're going to do more tests for InfoStealer specifically in the future. We'll see how good Windows Defender is with those as well. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Also, shout out to Flare for giving us access to their platform. This is kind of where I'm able to explore the dark web effectively and really see what cyber criminals are up to these days. It's a lot of interesting stuff on here. Hey, look, they're even promising an OTP bot to bypass any two-factor authentication. I wonder how they do that. But there is a crazy market for services like this on the dark web. And it's really important to protect your accounts and your personal data. Because nowadays, literally every asset aspect of your life depends on it. One of my friends just got their phone stolen and now they can't access any of their accounts. It's crazy. But if you want to explore what kind of footprint you have on the dark web, Flare is really useful for that. You could do a simple search for your company or your name and you can see if something has been leaked. You can go through stealer logs or protect your organization, manage your digital footprint. I highly recommend checking out Flare using link in description. They have a great UI and a powerful search engine. But please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Spread the information. And of course, thank you all so much for watching. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.